Hello again, I'm Socks Way Up, and welcome to Socks Town, a City Skylines Let's Play. Last episode, we got our little city started, just made it profitable so that we can start making money and making it pretty and expanding on it later on. Today's goal is going to be that first milestone of the little hamlet, and we're going to go from there and get that going today. All right, the first piece of business is going to be showing you some of the stuff I did off camera. It was just extending the water pipes to cover most of the area we're going to be building in today. So it wasn't too much that I did off camera. First, we're going to extend this road. I think it's a natural place to have maybe a second off ramp and we do have a highway. So we're going to do some adjustments here, undo some roads that we built in the first episode. Uh, you're going to see a lot of that in this probably, uh, this series. A lot of undoing, deleting, making it better as we go. Some areas are going to be temporary just to get the population up, especially early on, and we'll just go from there. But yeah, this will be a nice little natural road here for this city. We'll just close up some of these roads. Let's see, then start extending this existing neighborhood. That'll give us more residents there. Let's get that zoned. There we go. We're at 190 right now. We got to double that to finish this uh, first milestone. Residential demand's super high, so we should be good with that. We've got a little bit of money to play with, so let's um, let's you know what that road might work out fine. But we do want to get rid of that house. It's too close to that main road. Let's do that. And then. We will extend this road down 30 if it lets us. Eh, we'll have to do 29. And then let's match that over here. Again, this will be a nice... You know, it just makes sense to me to have another off-ramp like that over here. And then build out this neighborhood a little bit more. Connect that over, give them entrances to the neighborhood from either main road. Let's not connect this one, have it a nice little dead end or cold sack as we call it. Some more going. Maybe pull, yeah, let's move over here. We don't have too many four-way intersections, even though it's a neighborhood, it won't have too much traffic, but I want to stick to this design we're kind of going with. Spreading these roads out a little bit. Another dead end there. All right. That looks good for now. So this area here, we're going to have a road that follows along the coast eventually. I do want to get the terraforming unlocked before we do that, but that's when we're going to really break away from this grid that we have. Once we start building those roads that follow the terrain, You'll start seeing that the map will start dictating the way our city turns out. We're just going to kind of build what the map is dictating as we expand and, and start getting creative with some areas of Socktown. And I do like the way these roads give us a variety of houses. We've got these little tiny ones, we've got a little bigger one. So we don't have the same cookie cutter house in here because we don't, you know, if we, if we just had straight roads and all of the lots were exactly the same size we would get less less of this variety but so i do like the way our our road design is breaking that up to give us a variety of different houses see our electricity is getting close so we might want to bump up the budget on that and let's go back to 100 percent so now that we're making money we don't have to worry about that too much we want to get this first milestone open so we can hike up the taxes a little bit and really start getting the money coming in. And we know we're going to expand towards this coast, so let's bring that neighborhood down now. Another road down here, kind of like a main road inside the neighborhood. We'll have that go here to connect to this different little subdivision. So we'll probably want to bring that lane road down a little bit and add some more dead ends in the neighborhood 
that's probably yeah let's let's not do that little forks there that should give us a nice variety in this in this little town all right so let's get this up here and we're out of money and it's probably a good thing we probably didn't want to get that intersection that close to the, the other one so let's get this all zoned up we're at 221 people now so we're getting there getting close to that 380 i believe is what we need for this one so the zoning that's probably not a good place to zone go a little bit here then yeah that should be good right there so our commercial demand is starting to go up a little bit let's see let's add a little bit like a gas station there you know little drugstore here oil change place there i don't know what they're gonna generate as but that's that's what they are in my head at least some here those ones might go away eventually when we widen the road but it'll help us for now to keep progressing throw one there yeah i don't know about that one let's see that might be enough maybe if we add a couple here that'll probably help it gives those gives that little subdivision its own places to go 234 so we're getting there starting to get a little bit more money let's crank this up a little bit kind of get the city just growing and progressing these first few milestones we, we will probably run at times three but later on we're gonna when we're more focused on design and character we will definitely be at times one let the game run a little bit better on my computer and handle everything a lot better at times one times three seems to be a resource hog this game is a little bit of a resource hog but we got a steady increase of people coming in about 20 a week right now so i think our expansion probably is enough to get us there it's just a, a waiting game for the waiting for the game to actually catch up for us And look at our money's going up too. We almost got four thousand again. So at this point, I think we're gonna skip ahead. All right, we let the game run for a little bit. We're at three thirty-three, but I thought I'd give this time us an opportunity to kind of talk about some of the plans here. This whole area that's gonna be inside this kind of freeway loop here. We're going to be like a big industry area so that our offices or just the industrial buildings can come in and out of the city. At least that'll be our first big industry area. And then this side over here, we'll probably have a ton of residential. Back here will be a cool area, I think, to have a nice neighborhood. And then this little island, I think it's an island. You can't really tell off the end of the map. But yeah, that island will have a nice residential area to it. I, I do like this map. I think it's going to work out pretty good for a city. Let's see, we're at 370 now almost. So we're getting there. About, oh, we just lost someone. Five more people. Did it. All right. Little Hamlet. So let's, uh, let's pause it there. We have $32,000. Landfill will be 4000 That's not bad. Cycling center is 16, that's way too much. So 4,000. Our medical clinics are 10,000, so that'd be 14 plus another 10,000 for an elementary school. So yeah, we got 24,000. We can get all three of those laid out here right now. Not have to take out a loan at all. So let's grab the landfill. Let's see, this is going to have to live here for a long time. So let's find a good place for it. Don't want it to block any roads. Yeah, maybe we just squeeze it in there. We'll get rid of that road. We'll put a road in there. We'll pick, keep an eye on that and make sure it doesn't cause too much traffic. We might have to give it another road to access this other neighborhood later on. But let's get the medical center. I think up here might be a good spot for that. Should make all of them happy. And then our elementary school. We have a nice area here. 
can just put it right there and give access to all those people for their kids to go to school and get the game going again. And let's see. We're making 1300 a week. That's pretty good. Education, we have capacity for 300 and there's 51 eligible right now. So that school should get us for a little bit. We'll have to keep an eye on that and make sure we have enough elementary schools so that we can increase the education of our people. Next one we unlock. Let's see, we can't unlock another square yet, but we can when we get 750 people. All right, maybe that'll be our next goal. Well, that'll wrap it up for this edition of Sox Sock Town. I'm Socks Way Up. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next episode of Sock Town.